As we all know, a ton of people collect Pokemon cards that range from hundreds to millions of dollars. But what if we told you that there are anime cards that go for thousands of dollars? And our goal is to get our hands on the holy grail of all anime cards, the Black Label Ephemeral Existence Mai. But there's one problem. The only listing online is $150,000. And unfortunately, we don't have that kind of dough. Now you're probably wondering, why is this piece of cardboard with a 2D bunny girl on it so expensive? Well, it's not just any 2D bunny girl. It's my Sakurajima from Bunny Girl Senpai. But in all seriousness, here's the lore breakdown. In 2019, a card game called Bwai Swords introduced a new English set based on the anime, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. This set was challenging for collectors. Each case only had two special signed cards, and cases had 16 boxes. Things got even worse when a mistake at the printer caused the best card in the entire set, the Sign Nodoka, to be replaced with a much less playable card. The Trial Deck exclusive, Ephemeral Existence Mai, making the Sign Nodoka impossible to obtain, since the Mai was now in both the Trial Decks and Booster Boxes. Collectors, players, and shops were pissed off. Because of public outrage, Y Swords offered them a deal. They could trade in their Mai for the missing Nodoka card. And as a bonus, it also sent an extra booster box. At the time, it was a no-brainer, since you not only got a card that was more competitively playable and rare, but also a free booster box. Basically $400 in value. Free money glitch. Most people sent back their Mai cards to be exchanged, and everyone was happy. Except it left the population of the Mai cards to be completely destroyed. And to make things even more insane, a former Y Swords employee shared that the policy was to destroy all the cards they received, to prevent theft and reselling within the company. Company. No one knows how many my cards are left, but it's speculated that there's less than 50. One thing we forgot to mention, we don't just want a base my card, we want a perfect one. A Beckett Black Label 10 Ephemeral Existence My. Beckett is the company that grades the card, and the only way to get a perfect 10 is that everything, and we mean everything, is a 10. The centering, the edges, the corners, and the surface all have to be perfect. And if just one speck of the card had an issue, then not even the human eye can see the graders were minus 0.5 from one of the scores, making the card a gold label 10, which is still extremely hard to get. Now that the lore's been broken down, here's our plan to get the card. Our friend is super well connected in the anime card space, so we're gonna ask him to help us find the my card. You're obviously the professional. Talk a little bit about your collection. First of all, it's so sketchy to be called a professional anime card collector. <laughs> yeah. I've been collecting anime cards for a while, what, three years, four years now? Before we dive into this, okay, I want to talk a little about the Baxter, okay? I actually hit up Alex in 2021 about this card because he happened to have one. I said, dude, this card is so sick. Can I get it? And, and you're like, no, it's $5,000. You're not buying it. But now it's worth way more. And now's the day we're willing to buy this card. We don't just want the card. We want the black label, the holy grail. Yeah, the holy grail. How are we even going to be able to buy this card? <laughs> so, the bummer about this card is that there are very few left. I've seen maybe 10 for sale over the past four years. Um, the last Beckett 9.5 that I personally saw sell to someone was for $12,000. The only black label cash trade deal that I ever heard of, the total was like sixty-eight to seventy thousand dollars oh, cash trade. Jesus. So yeah, I don't think we could afford that, right? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> In what ways would we be able to like acquire this card? I could ask like a couple people that might know people that have a copy in black label. The problem is, is the population of this card is non-existent. There's probably five or six black labels out there, and the guys that collect my Sakurajima are absolute psychopaths. They <laughs> yeah. do not sell this car. Yeah. I'll see what I can do in my DMs right now. I'm praying for you guys. Okay, for sure. <laughs> All right, thank you, Alex. Thank you, Alex. Thank right. you. Yeah. Talk to you All soon. Right. Oh, we'll talk soon. Yeah. After the call with Alex, we kept our hopes high and were pretty optimistic. But all the optimism was about to be crushed with the next call. <sighs> Or Alex. Hey. hey, Alex. What's the update, dude? Do you want the bad news or the worst news? What? <laughs> So the bad news is we have a guy that would potentially be interested. The worst news is the lowest cash offer he would take for his black label Mai is $50,000. In terms of the trade value, apparently he's got a business and he would have to speak to his boss about leveraging advertising. So it would be 50,000 in nah, cash. We, we, can, we and can't then do you that, guys would be making ads. You guys might be making TikToks for this man for the rest of your life. That's crazy. <laughs> How about the other two guys? We haven't heard anything back, which probably means that it's just a no-go period. We're not talking about, you know, 24 people, 25 people we could reach out to. We're talking about a handful, Four, legitimately people. a handful. To be honest, we felt defeated. There is no way we could spend $50,000 on the card. And our dream of owning the Mai were shattered. It was game over. Until one oh, week no. later, we got a call. Dude, what's going on? 
What's up? Are you guys still looking for the my card? I got a DM from the guy that has a raw copy of the my card. I want to pass this opportunity off to you guys, and look, there's no, there's no promising or guaranteeing you that it'll be a black label, but at least you'll have a shot at one owning this card and two, yeah. you know, going for it. Uh, how, how much? How much is he selling it for? Uh, Eleven thousand. Oh. <laughs> No. That's ungraded, that, that's, right? That's, that's, that's not yeah, that's graded. nothing. We'd have to get it graded as well, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna park and call you back, okay? Because we need to think about this as a group. Alright, so, what do you guys think? Hey, honestly, um, I'm all in. I'm down to buy it. The only scary thing, Alex said that if it's a 9.5, it would be worth 12,000. Like at 10 that he has is worth 30,000, yeah. The black label is 70,000. So it's basically between those three. So we need to at least get a 9.5 to break even. Okay, but he said it looks perfect on camera. If you want to buy it, why don't we just get it checked out? What do you think, Jerry? What do you think? I know my answer. I think considering the fact that we have to at least get a 9.5, which is pretty much almost pristine, I wouldn't say so. So you don't think it's worth it? The fact that we have to at least get a 9.5 to even break even is kind of a big risk, so. After talking to the rest of the group, everyone is willing to buy the card, besides Kate and Jeremy. Dude, you're in and you're out, dude. You trusted me? He only he knows and you trust me? Decision. After an hour of arguing, it was time for them to make their decision. You guys in or out? For the culture? I'm in. I'm in. Yeah! Hey! Uh, that makes a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> You're purchasing this card. For eleven thousand dollars. All right, let me explain why we want to purchase this piece of cardboard for eleven thousand dollars. In 2020, so we got really into this anime called Rascal Does Not Dream of a Bunny Girl Senpai. We got obsessed with the song Fugasugi no Karate from the anime, and all we do is sing it. So one day we decided to lip sync the song on TikTok, and it blew up, leading to the creation of the anime men and changing our lives forever. Also, my soccer dreamers are waifu, so we just want it. <laughs> Ready? No. All right, three, two, one. He sent it. Goodbye, Bye. guys. We just we, we're at the declare bankruptcy chapter seven bankruptcy. Goodbye. We wired him eleven thousand dollars, and with the blink of an eye, it arrived. It's arrived. <laughs> no one cares. That was actually bad. That was actually bad. <laughs> guys, be more hyped. Come on. It's arrived. It's, it's here. here. It's 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 here. Not staged at all. <laughs> all, right. all right, Jeremy's doing the honors of cutting it. If Jeremy breaks anything, he is liable for this. Oh no. $11,000. Shh. $11,000? Yeah, you just messed it up. Yeah. Oh, you oh, fucked. Oh, Don't do it scary. like that, bro. That turn just caused $1,000 worth of damage to the Jeremy, bro. Hey! Oh. Oh. That's impressive. That was I aggressive. Did, I didn't even go into the box. You got Ethan twirling his thumbs over here, bro. Yeah, it, it, guys, just don't be aggressive with it, dude. Actually. Potentially $70,000. Dude, Jeremy's power ranking just went down a little. Yeah. Oh, be oh, careful, be careful. Oh, it's in bubble wrap. It's, 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 it's more, no, no, it's, it's no, more wrap. Jeremy, wait. There's another layer. There's yeah, more wrap, yeah, there's more wrap, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, that was a bad one. 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 Oh, shoot. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's it? That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that was, that was the hardest trial of my life. I know, I'm gonna 11,000. Dollars. It's still in bubble wrap, so you can't really you see can't it. Here, each person take turns holding it. Looking at it. Careful. I'm laying flat. <laughs> this is your life. Wow, man. Give this to Sam. Hey, hey, careful, careful. Hey, we're good. You don't have to record. Ready, 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 ready. You're, You're telling me this was eleven thousand dollars. Yes. Watashi no koto. Something et teru. This is this is probably the most single expensive item I've ever held in my hands. To both hands. I guess. I won this card for years. After seeing the card in person, we couldn't really tell what condition it was in. So we decided to meet up with Alex to get his opinion. It's currently Wednesday and we're heading over to Frank and Sons to meet Alex Hodge, who's helped us with this whole process. We've actually never met him before, so it's pretty exciting. We're basically going here for Alex to check the card. If it's bad or if it was a scratch, then we're kind of screwed. We just wasted $11,000. Let's hope he doesn't find anything bad. Yo, Alex. Yo. Nice to finally meet you, man. Hey, right, dude. Good to meet you, man. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Let's take a look at it, though. Let's take I want to see it. Let's do it. Open it up. 
Oh. I'm so jealous, man. So I was actually going to buy this myself and I already own it. So my wife was like, you're not allowed to have another one. I was like, what do you think? Okay, centering actually looks better in person than it did in the video. Okay. So for a long time, because there were so few of these left, we actually speculated that there would never be a black label in this card because the centering issue was was apparent on so many of the copies. There's like a there's a lot of 9.5s of this. Honestly, it's a lot better looking than I thought it was gonna look okay. so far. Okay. Obviously, I, I don't wanna sit here and say, you know, it's perfect because you don't know. I don't have a magnifying glass up here right now. Literally what they use to inspect jewelry can be used to inspect cards. Okay. Right now, we're looking at the card surface. The card has a very nice texture to it that kind of runs in these ziggy, zaggy oh, lines on that. the card. And Weiss cards can have so many details in them that it can be hard to see if the surface has been messed up. Really quick, your yeah. back centering is almost perfect. Almost, like, almost. I say almost because I'm never going okay. to say definitely. Yeah. Okay. This is the best critique I, I can give. This is all, like, it looks fantastic. Seriously, really, really nice. Dude, the back is, the back. <laughs> this is definitely worth grading. Yeah, 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 100%. I'm very jealous that this is not mine. I would never say to count on a black label, but you have as good a shot as any. Although Alex gave us his best input on the card, it still wasn't gonna give us a black label. We still had to get the card graded, and we had no clue how we are gonna do it, until Alex called us. You know how I told you I was gonna be grading my Amelia? Yeah. So I spoke to Beckett, and they could squeeze you guys in if you wanna fly to Dallas with me. Oh. Texas? Hey boys, we going? Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, 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 right. All right, guys. So Alex just gave us the news that we're going to Texas, but me, Kate, and Ethan are gonna go. Dude, it's gonna be a movie. We packed their bags, grabbed the card, and headed to Texas. There's 11 bands in my hands right now, bro. So here's the plan. First, we have to go to the Airbnb. Second, we gotta get settled down, you know, relax a little bit. And third, sleep for tomorrow. And, and number four, while we're here, get the card graded. Yes. But like, that's, tomorrow. that's tomorrow. That's the plan, bro. And number four, I forgot. Get the card graded. The reason why we're here. Wait, what are you doing? Huh? Well, I'm waiting for my bag, bro. It's been like ten minutes. <laughs> oh, there it is. Wait, guys, bro. This isn't my bag. What? This isn't my bag. How? It doesn't say I'm goaded. <laughs> is that not funny? It's currently 8:37 and we're gonna head over to the grading place at 9.15. So we're super late and no one's up yet. Ethan, we're gonna leave right now, bro. We actually have to go, I'm sorry, bro. Why did you tell me this when you woke me up, bro? Let's go. Mm -hmm. You ready? Are oh, you ready the toothbrush now? All right, more ready. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready in two minutes. <laughs> oh! Hey, I didn't drop the card. How are you guys feeling? We wanted this my soccer game card so bad in 2021. No matter what grade it is, right? Now we have this card and we also gotta go to Texas with you and go to the grading and experience this, you know. I'll remember that's true. Yeah, when I'm 80 years old, I'll remember going with Alex getting that nice and drinking. So what exactly is going to go down when we go there? First, we get to see the back at HQ, which very few people ever get to see. They're going to take our cards, and we are basically going to pray. <laughs> Good to meet another Gianni. Yeah, what's well, going on, man? Hey, good to meet you. All right, so meet you. cards here. This is the card. Okay. How good do you think this card looks? Okay, I just want to start off by saying I'm not a grader by any means, in my very unprofessional opinion. I mean, it looks like a great card. So, could you compare the rarity of a gold 10 label to a black? label. So both are extremely hard to achieve with Beckett and both are, are great phenomenal cards. A card that has no visible damage on it, I would give maybe like a 15% chance of a black label. It is really hard to hit that perfect standard. Are black labels truly perfect? Or for example, let's say this had one minuscule mark, the tiniest thing ever. Would it just be like, eh. Like you, you can't truly get perfection, or like nah, we can't. If it, if it has something small like that, they'll definitely take take really a hit. Point, yeah, really? yeah. Even the most minuscule. Like, yeah, even the most minuscule. It's kind of like a golf hole in one. You're either in the hole or you're yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. crazy though. All right, so now we're actually gonna submit this thing for real this time. We're gonna give it to all the graders, and they're gonna do their thing. It's probably gonna take three hours. 
really scared. Hope we, hope we pull through, man. This is the last time we're gonna be holding this card before it's gonna be graded. I'm honestly so nervous. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, it looks perfect. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a newbie. I don't know anything. Hopefully, we get that ten, man. Yeah, black lady. Dear Lord, please, we came all this way. I feel it's like in your script, Lord. I feel like you really meant it to be for the last couple of years of our lives to make black these label. black level ten. So, black God, it's in your will. I can feel it, man. Thank you so all right, much. Guys, for sniff. <laughs> Alright, there it goes. Let's go. Alright. Oh. Alright, say goodbye, guys. Goodbye, dude. Bye, bye. bye. Alright, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what that was, dude. We just dropped off the cards. Now we have two hours to spare. We're praying on a black label. Let's go it's get a scary it. Let's bro. go get it. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Waiting for the card to be graded was miserable. The feeling of walking around the mall while not knowing the fate of our card was haunting. If things weren't stressful already, Alex got news from Johnny that one of his cards were damaged and it was going to receive a grade lower than a Beckett 5. This only added more pressure to our card's fate. One of my Nami cards that was signed ended up having a crease in the left corner that I hadn't seen before. So is our, my card gonna have a crease at this point, bro? Yeah, like, exactly. oh, what's happening, yeah, you never, dude? You never know, bro. I hope we prayed hard enough. Dude, I'm actually nervous now. Like, it's actually oh, hitting me. Like, I, I was dilly-dallying all throughout that little mall, all happy, and, and then as soon as I hopped in this car, 20 minutes out from, from looking at the card, Dude, I'm nervous, bro. I'm like shitting bricks. Yeah. Alex. Yo. You getting nervous? Bruh, I haven't not been nervous <laughs> since we walked into Beckett. <laughs> this is like some uh, suspended Supreme Scream feeling that's not going away. We just got a text it's from Gianni. Order is ready. Why is that so cryptic, bro? Like, it, like, no. Oh. If it's a black label, we're having a celebration. Okay? I'm satisfied regardless because we got the car. Yeah. A gold label, a black label, or just a ten in general. Hey, I'll be, I'll be at dancing. The, at honest. the end of the day, this is something we're gonna cherish and hold forever, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're pulling into the place Dude, right now. Under here, guys. Right here, guys. The whole trip, everything, the last two years, build up to this exact moment right here, guys. Oh. And we're back. Oh my gosh. Out. <sighs> Once we arrived at the Beckett headquarters, we had to wait there for what felt like an eternity. The pressure started to get to us and we couldn't wait any longer. Needless to say, we were excited and terrified at the same time. We're in the waiting room waiting for the card. Waiting for them to come out with it. We were so nervous, I don't even know what to say. It's changed everything. It's like a, it's like the pinnacle of our life right now. Yeah. Um, All the hard work is for this one moment. I'll either be depressed for a week or I'll be celebrating for you. After waiting for eons, it was finally Ready time. Do the honors of opening? Yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Oh, Ooh, this card okay. is so okay. hard to grade, but wow. we'll take it. We've got the Persona 5 Mona trial deck card. This is awesome. Oh, okay. okay, so we got the Z23 okay. from Azure Lane trial deck card right here. All right. Oh, yeah. We'd love to see Final it. Stretch. We got the Baltimore. Pulled this myself in the BGS 10, which is absolutely amazing. Couldn't believe we pulled it. Oh, dude, I, oh. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't? No. We're done, man. No. We're done. Let's go. Let's go. Let me see it. Let me see it. We are done. Oh. We're three and zero, volume oh. one, complete set. Oh, no, oh. you didn't. Oh. Oh. Although Alex getting a gold label 10 made him pretty happy, it still wasn't a black label. With our nervousness hitting an all time high, it was time for the big reveal. You know, even, even getting a 10. Say a little speech, so yeah. First off, it's been three years 2021. Oh, Reached out to Alex, wanted the card, and he said, I'm not selling it. <laughs> I said, Maybe one day we'll be able to get this card. And come now, I have to thank Alex, man. Gave up this card to us. Shout out his wife for not letting him buy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no matter what grade it is, no matter what grade it is, we still have a yeah, card. So, card, God yeah. be blessed. Thank you guys. Let's right. open this. Uh, oh. All right, we ready? Yep, right. Yeah. Let's go, boys. 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 Let's go, and this right. is this is the last Beckett Zion case we have. Last video, so. Two. All right, boys. Give the honors. All right, three, three two, two, one. one.
This is the first ever card we've ever graded in general. And I'm so shocked, man. Like this, this it's, it's nice yeah. when it works out. And when it works yeah. out, yeah. yeah. People don't see graders a lot of times as people that are involved in the hobby. And we want to be involved in the hobby and part of this. Seeing your guys' reactions, you know, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. That's, that's what it's all about, crazy. bro. Huge thank you to Alex. None of this would have been possible without him. He got his no, thing. Thank my wife. Because thank his wife. 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 Not hey, Alex's wife. Out. Although the card is super cool and super valuable, this card isn't just something that could go up in value for us or something we can make thousands of dollars on. This is a card that we want to cherish for years and that really just represents how we all came together. I'm not mad at all. <laughs> <laughs>